A grail? Welcome back, my excellent friends. Today, we were going to film the San Diego Comic-Con 2020 Funko edition, but I was on the website, as many other people were, uh, for the launch of the San Diego Comic-Con Pops. I had every single pop in my cart and went to check out two minutes after five o'clock Pacific Standard Time and was calculating shipping for over an hour. After the site crashed multiple times, I was able to obtain two of those pops. Got an email this morning, just to top it all off from Funko, telling me that my shipping has been delayed. So uh, it'll be a miracle whether I get anything from Funko.com in regards to San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, I usually, because we live in Florida and so far away, and you know, I don't get to San Diego very often, although I hear it's beautiful, um, to get these, to purchase in-con things. So I'm used to going out and trying to get the shared stuff from the other stores on the launch of the con, but given that they didn't actually have the con this year, that was, um, that, that was interesting. There was a lot of running around to, to obtain everything. I had to get a lot of stuff from resellers. I got some stuff in the wild. Once I had everything together, we're going to do the show. But while I was out trying to obtain these items, I bought a bunch of other really cool stuff that I found in the wild, right? So I want to share what I found in the wild. Uh, not going to have any huge values right away, but there's stuff that I like. Uh, it's stuff that I think is cool that is uh, eventually going to be worth something, um, but if it's not, it's worth something to me. Going forward, we're going to have a pop from the wall uh, sponsor the show, right? Um, we were talking about the montage that we had created, and uh, I just kind of want to like show you some of the stuff that I have uh, collected over the years. So I've collected pops for many years. Uh, and why I have them. So they're going to sponsor the show. So to kick that off today, the show is sponsored by Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Except no substitute. Chuck Norris, the best actor in Delta Force. So the Chuck Norris pop is super neat, right? I like it a lot. Um, he's got not one, but two Uzis. Yeah, he's got two Uzis because he's Chuck Norris. Uh, came in a package, right, with uh, the, the ammo. It's an ammo box. It's a Chuck Norris ammo box. Came with this shirt, right, and uh, this pop. So I paid $13 on eBay because I thought it was cool. And uh, the PPG value of the set unopened is $27. The pop by itself is 20 bucks. So 13 bucks is what I spent. I got a cool $20 pop, um, a t-shirt and a box that I don't know what to do with. But I know what you're saying, right? I know you're asking yourself, Mike, <laughs> you seem like a guy of discerning tastes. Why would you buy a Chuck Norris pop? Why in the world? I don't understand it. You know, it's not that I don't like Chuck Norris. I just don't understand the collectability. Well, it's how I set my collection up. So Chuck, has his position already picked out for him. Right next to Dwight Goodman. It's gonna be amazing, right? Love Dodgeball. There was only two pops made. I still don't have LaFleur, uh, but I thought it would be really funny to have Chuck Norris and White Goodman right next to each other. Um, dodgeball, fun fact, fun Dodgeball fact, uh, their first win, the Dodgeball team, celebrates at a bar slash eatery and the name of the eatery is the filthy sanchez go back watch the movie look at the side of the building but super exciting super exciting so um, i'm gonna put those two back in the collection together so let's get into it kids let's look and see what we got so we're gonna start with walmart our walmart journey so i was able to obtain some stuff SDCC from Walmart, um, but I actually found like a lot of other really cool current or about to be vaulted maybe things or things that people haven't realized are going to be high value yet. And I scooped all those up too. So I'll show you what I got. First off, gold Darth Maul. Gold Darth Maul. Very, very, very cool. 
Um, anytime I see a Darth Maul pop, I buy it. Uh, the only one I don't have is the original uh, Darth Maul pop, but it says that it's metallic on their website. I mean, that's more of like a, a flat gold, in my opinion, like the robots from Fifth Element more than like, you know, bling bling. But the box is really cool. Uh, it is an exclusive. I paid $9 for this because uh, it was the day that it came out. I bought it on their website. It was in my house the next day. PPG value, 25 bucks, 25 bucks. So this was an excellent purchase. And I mean, come on, it's Darth Maul. It's great. Even though he's a menace, even though he's a menace, he's great. So let's see what else we got from the, from the Mart, from Walmart. I know I got up before we went and uh, the, you know, there was no barking from the dogs. There was uh, no smog. And uh, you know, mama, she made the breakfast with no hog. I had to say it was a good day. It was a good day. Look at that ice cube. These are so cool. I'm so happy that they're starting to do hip hop pops. Um, the ice cube is, I mean, that's just like when I think of ice cube, that's what I think of, right? And um, album covers that they have stuck on the back of them. I'll do a 360 on all these so you can see them. Uh, got this at Walmart, mint condition box right off the shelf. Paid nine bucks, only worth nine bucks, but you know, I have a feeling that these uh, new hip hop release pops are, are going to be worth a lot. And if they're not, who cares? It's Ice Cube. Come on, give me a break. It's Ice Cube. All right. Keeping with the same theme, hip hop, Tupac Shakur. Tupac Shakur is sitting on the shelf right next to Ice Cube and uh, uh, a couple other pops that you're about to see. So I, I got, I did, I think I got lucky. I mean, everybody was scrambling around for these other pops and I was able to find some stuff that was older or just released. And I, you know, I, I think I, I made out pretty well. So 10 bucks on the Tupac Shakur pop and a $12 PPG value, right? So cool. I really hope they do a whole series of just Tupac stuff, but I'd like to see movie stuff, right? Like I want to see a juice pop. I want, uh, that's funny, a juice pop. Um, and I want to see, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, nothing but trouble digital underground days of, of Tupac. So that would be, that would be super dope, but I'm really happy to obtain this one. Let's see. Let's see what else we have out of the grab bag here today. And boom, Rick and Morty. Dr. Xenon Bloom. I, I really like this one. Uh, there's no high value. I hadn't seen one, a glow in the dark one out in the, in, out, uh, in the wild in a while. So something was telling me to buy it. I'm a huge Dr. John Oliver fan and that's who voices uh, the character. So that's the reason for the purchase. I paid $11. It's worth seven. It's gonna be uh, really nice to almost complete my Rick and Morty uh, collection so this will be a good addition to that so the value in this is irrelevant because it's a super dope pop close in the dark not going to be able to demonstrate that but very cool next from walmart spider-man maximum venom venomized miles morales I mean, do I have to explain why I bought this? Honestly, this is amazing, right? I know there's a lot of Venomize this and a Venomize that, but I really like uh, the Miles Morales character. Um, the end of the Spider-Verse movie was really amazing. Donald Glover's um, hint to Miles Morales in the Spider-Man movie. I'm paying attention. I really uh, like this one a lot. The value, 10 bucks is what I paid rather. Uh, value is eight dollars, but that's completely okay with me. There's a Venom Carnage Spider-Man section where this goes, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. All right, last Walmart pop, guys. Last Walmart pop. Now I don't normally collect any kind of like wrestling stuff or anything like that, but there's a couple characters that stand out, and when I saw. Andre the Giant in a six inch on the shelf, there's no way that I wasn't gonna scoop this guy up, right? 
And to be honest with you, I want to get another one or maybe I'll, I'll get this one, open it, put a hood on it and add it to my Princess Bride Pops because it's just a it's just a crime against humanity that uh, the Andre the Giant character was not represented in those. Along with the guy that says, it's conceivable all the time. That would, those would be amazing pops. Well, I can't have those, but I have an Andre the Giant six inch. Uh, so I'm gonna run back and forth. In the meantime, it'll sit by the Princess Bride stuff. Um, so that'll, it'll at least look cool. But I mean, he's huge. Obey him, he has a posse and whatnot. Um, I paid $17 from Walmart for this. Current value is $37, so maybe I won't open it. Uh, but it's still a lot of fun to look at. So these next ones are random one-offs, just from different comic book shops um, online, stuff like that that I found while I was searching for other stuff. Um, but my daughter went out and to find some pops and I got a picture from her of this one, uh, which I'm super excited. Not only that it came out, right? Um, but she was able to grab it for 11 bucks and she texted me and asked me, riddle me this. Is this something that you wanna add to your collection? And I respond, absolutely, right? Look at this, I, the, my only, my only like complaint with the Jim Carrey, uh, Batman Forever, Riddler Pop, is it doesn't look more like Jim Carrey. There's a there's a Two Face version that they released with this as well. I mean, and it looks like it, it looks exactly like um, the guy that plays uh, Two Face, which like his name escapes me for right now. Um, but uh, that one is a little bit more accurate. But I do love this pop. This is my favorite villain from all of the the Batman films, and it and literally because Jim because Jim Carrey plays it, he absolutely kills this role. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones plays Two-Face, looks exactly like Tommy Lee Jones. If you watch this movie again, you can see where the two of them are starting to one-up each other and Jim Carrey blows him out of the stratosphere with the performance and then the Two-Face is just kind of going along with it. Great performance, great movie, love it, love this pop. Uh, we paid 12 bucks for it, it's worth 14, who cares? It's going with the rest of the DC stuff. This one is Zeratfink. I love this one, I'm so excited. Funko uh, limited edition Ratfink. It's not the glow in the dark one, but um, it's still it's Ratfink, it's super cool. Um, I love, you know, Big Daddy Roth art, uh, mouse art, uh, you know, the misfits. Those are all the things I think of when I, when I think of Ratfink, so. I paid, this came out on the Funko shop a couple months ago, missed it then, uh, and I ended up buying this off Facebook Marketplace. I paid 38 bucks for it. There's no value to it as of yet, but it's still a limited edition. It's Rat Think. Um, it's been around since Wacky Wobblers, so um, I, was ex I was excited to get this one, and this one will stay in the collection as well. You know, it doesn't sound like I'm gonna sell very many of these, does it? Mm. No, doesn't. I'm gonna keep them. I really like this one. Brand new. Creep from Creep Show, right? I really like the Creep. There's a lot of uh, Creep Show stuff going around now. Um, I had to have a Creep Show pop of some sort, so I just grabbed this one. And I thought it looked really neat. He's got the. If you can look, you see he's got the. Um, the, the comic there in his hand, he's reading from it. Creep Show narrator, narrator of the show. Uh, loved it on um, uh, HBO. Ten dollars is what we paid for it. Current value is thirteen. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Good find. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's cool too, right? Two thousand one Space Odyssey, right? It is Dr. Frank Poole, which is not Dave, but the other guy on the ship, if I remember correctly. Uh, I saw this movie when I was really young for the first time, and I just remember, like, horrified with the, the, the apes beating each other and with the stones, and, you know, I really didn't get it, but uh, now, uh, as I got older and watched it a couple more times, I realized, like, what a masterpiece Stanley Kubrick made. Um, 
with that film. So much so that when you watch other films like Clockwork Orange, um, he inspired himself by putting his own 2001 record in the record store um, that, that they're in in the record store scene. But anyway, I digress. Uh, Stanley, Stanley Kubrick's amazing. Um, he took a poop in a box. I'd probably buy it. Unfortunately, he's passed, so we can't do that. But the Dr. Frank Poole 2019 Fall Convention Limited Edition. I paid 15 bucks for it. It's worth 19 bucks. This one feels like one that's going to be of value. Uh, cult classic film. Good find. Good find. All right, that's what I pulled um, from the store. Oh, wait. Oh, there's one more. Sorry, there's a late entry. Uh, one more pop we got from the bestbuy.com, right? Yeah, they sell pops. Mm -hmm. Just take a look. This is so rad. Come on now. The Joker, Heath Ledger Joker from Dark Knight. This is amazing. This is uh, not the biggest 10 inch I have. It's Baby Yoda, but I love this pop. Uh, you know, the Heath Ledger Joker um, is, is, is an amazing performance. Uh, and the detail in this pop, uh, it really, it really, I, not only do I know it's the Joker, I know it's him, right? So they really did a great job with it. The size, the scale of it. We paid, uh, 32 bucks on bestbuy.com for this. Uh, I checked before I, we made the video. It's, it's available still on their website and the current PPG value is $46. So you better scoop those up while they're still there. Uh, so this this is probably, I mean, I say they're all, I say they're all my favorites, but I really am excited about this find. Find about this find. That's it, that's everything that we got while we were looking for the SDCC um, exclude. Ooh, wait, hold on. I have one more thing, I almost forgot. So Wacky Wobblers, I'm starting to get into them again. And these, I found. On eBay, 24 bucks for each one of the Family Guy Wacky Wobblers. I'm so excited about the Blue Harvest Star Wars spoof Family Guy Wacky Wobblers. You guys can probably still find these running around somewhere. Uh, they're, they're, they're pretty old. There's a little bit of damage on the Chewbacca Brian. Um, uh, but other than that, they're in really great condition. Um, uh, 2007, I said, uh, that's when they were released, uh, the, when Lucas films, uh, pre selling the rights to, to, to Disney. So, uh, that's why these are the only three, I think that are, are still around. So we got Quagmire, C3PO, uh, Stewie is Darth Vader and Brian as Chewbacca. So super awesome. Apparently this is like a chase. The Stewie is like a chase, um, because it's supposed to have a closed helmet. Uh, but this packaging, right? And the Stewie itself uh, has an open helmet. So no sticker or anything like that, but this is, I think, what you would consider a variant or a chase. So I'm really excited about these. 24 bucks, um, that I got them online. They're worth um, anywhere from about 15 to $20 a piece, uh, a little over $20 for the, uh, for the Stewie, but I didn't buy them to sell them. I, buy them. I bought them because they were awesome. So when the power goes out in the Griffin home, uh, Peter tells the story of Star Wars, and this is the result. So, very, very cool. Something, something, something. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to uh, cut to the montage that we made of the collection uh, here in just one moment. And as soon as all that San Diego Comic Con stuff comes in, uh, either via mail or other shady way that we obtain it, uh, we'll go ahead and make that video and post it for you guys. But until then, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.